Wang Zong, <laughs> Shi Jiaoshou, Professor Shi. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It's a real pleasure to welcome you all to a special event here at the Harvard Business School. Uh, my name is William Kirby. I'm a professor here at HBS, and I also chair the university's China Fund. But what you are here at is an expanded version of Professor Shi and my class, uh, an immersion class uh, going to China in January. And we had initially, and uh, Professor Shi had initially invited Chairman Wang to come and speak to our intimate class of about 40. And once we made this announcement, a few more people wanted to show up. So I just want to warn you all, you all then have to come with us to China uh, in January for 10 days as we do this. It's my job simply to turn this over to my good friend and colleague, Willie Shi, who is the Robert and Jane Sisek Professor of Management Practice uh, in Harvard Business School. He's part of the Technology and Operations Management Unit. He teaches in the MBA and Executive Education programs. Uh, he's written more than 125 HBS cases. And before coming to Harvard Business School in 2007, he spent 28 years in industry at IBM, at Digital, at Silicon Graphics, Eastman Kodak, and other firms. Uh, he is a great teacher, a great mobilizer, as we can see. Uh, he will introduce Chairman Wang. And as we say here at HBS, uh, Willie Banshu, we do function. Willie? With you in charge, I'm at ease. Thank you. I'm delighted to welcome all of you to the, here today to hear Chairman Wang Jiling, Chairman of the Dalian Wanda Group. Now, Chairman Wang started his career in the People's Liberation Army, where he spent 16 years before joining the city government of Dalian. He was named chairman of the then state-owned Dalian Wanda Group in 1985 at age 35. Now, I know the chairman of a, a chairman job at age 35 is what most of us here at HBS aspire to, okay, but he actually did that, so I think that's uh, really quite spectacular. Now, at the time, it was a residential real estate company, but under his leadership, uh, it became one of the very first shareholding companies in China, all the way back in 1992. Since then, the company has become the leader in commercial real estate in China, with Wanda Plazas everywhere. If you've ever shopped in a Wanda Plaza, uh, I, I find it quite remarkable. They always seem to have the best combination of location, retail mix, just great operations. Uh, Chairman Wang is going to make some brief opening remarks, and then he and I will discuss some questions uh, that I want to pose. And then after that, we're going to open the floor to the questions. So it gives me great pleasure to welcome Chairman Wang. Because time is limited, uh, uh, Professor Shi want me to be precise, uh, so I have uh, five to ten minutes uh, to have a speech, and then we'll give you, leave you more time for questions and answers. Harvard is a, a, a well-known university for its uh, uh, freedom of uh, academics, so my topic today is is, is an opportunity that everybody can raise, uh, raise questions. About Wanda, uh, the professor talked about you. We have uh, 27 years in history. Uh, one more month uh, this uh, year will be over. So in 2000, uh, 2015, our asset will be over uh, uh, 100 billion. Our uh, revenue is uh, uh, 550 billion uh, US dollars. You know? So this is a uh, top of the uh, private companies in China. So we have uh, three businesses, uh, the real estate, uh, commercial, uh, cultural industry, and, and uh, internet uh, e Our development can be uh, described in four stages. The first is when we uh, 
1993, when I started from Dalian and then went outside Dalian, from a regional company to a public company, this is a big step for us. At that time in China, uh, people didn't understand us. If you didn't do this, you couldn't get a license uh, to do operation outside. So you got to, to work with somebody uh, from an outside Dalian to do business. Without such a, a, a thing, you know, this is a very important the first step. The second stage is to establish is an independent company, real estate company, uh, uh, come to like a, a house market. Over the past 20 years, uh, uh, we started to change in the year 2000. Now our real estate uh, has become the number one in the world in terms of real estate housing. We are very huge. And then we continue. Uh, from 2015, we are experiencing another transformation. We are uh, transformed into other uh, diversified uh, industries. The third stage from 2002, from a, 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 a real estate uh, uh, business company becoming into a, tr a comprehensive uh, uh, company with uh, tourism uh, 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 over the past 10 years. Uh, one does a cultural industry has become the largest. Uh, if I put it into the context, we have uh, uh, ex uh, expanded over 50 billion dollars. Uh, of course, this is not comparable with, with the United States. In the United States, uh, you have uh, many, many companies over uh, 10 billion uh, uh, dollar companies. Uh, my, so my, see, uh, we are number one, but uh, we are the, the, uh, uh, the combined asset of the next uh, 49 in China. So we have a lot of in influencers. We have a lot of things, you know, a lot of companies there like uh, in the world, like uh, $30 billion. Now we are experiencing the fourth uh, uh, transformation uh, uh, since uh, 2012. Uh, we are going global. Uh, we started very early. We planned for this uh, over uh, six or seven years ago. At that time, we were not so ambitious until we uh, 2012, so when we purchased the U.S. company, over the past three years, in a short period of three years, uh, three and a half years, less than four years time, uh, we have invested uh, over 15 billion U.S. dollars overseas. This year, our revenue from overseas accounts for probably 50 percent of our uh, uh, revenue. Uh, we have our, our target. By the year 2020, in five years, our asset will be $200 billion to be a public company company over $20 billion. And our revenue will be a uh, thousand billion. So our uh, profits will be over ten billion dollars. So among these a uh, uh, hundred billion, uh, you know, our revenue from overseas will at least be thirty percent from overseas. This is the fourth transformation. This is the, the deepest uh, transformation uh, stage from a Chinese company into an international company. Uh, the first rate international company. What do you mean by first rate? We will try or hard to make the one that as the uh, ambassador of Chinese companies going overseas. Right now, we are doing to uh, you know build our brand uh, for hotels. The most luxury hotels, none of them is Chinese. There is a one Chinese American, Wuhanian, but he's Malaysian. The largest uh, luxury, uh, uh, you know, uh, industry is uh, restaurant, uh, hotels. Others, uh, yachts. And, uh, so, or bags. Uh, if you say bags is luxury, it's, it's overstated. Uh, so, uh, so, can you say a belt is a luxury? Uh, it's, it's a high-end uh, product, but it's not luxury. Among the largest luxury uh, uh, products, none of them has anything to do with the Chinese. 
So this is a uh, uh, fact. We have a lot of restaurants. By the end of the year, we have over 100 uh, five-star restaurants, uh, hotels. We're building more. We decided to work with our own resources. We will establish our brands. It takes well, 10 to 20 years to build a new brand. We have uh, seven uh, land um, uh, landscaping companies in the USA, New York, Chicago, Los Angeles. Uh, we have uh, London. Uh, and in Sydney, uh, Madrid. So in all these uh, famous uh, cities, international cities, we're, we're in uh, Qianxi, Gongyuan, in Chicago, in the United States, we're on the Fifth Avenue, Los Angeles, so Beverly Hills. All these uh, places we're building our uh, uh, hotels. This is just a one dimension of our business. We are not depending on uh, hotels only. We will continue to work diligently to expand our business. Uh, now we are pretty well. Uh, we have uh, our scale. Still, we haven't stopped to, uh, to gain more wealth. And we are not for our personal consumption. My goal is to, to, to become a, a super company in the world. We use our resources to build the, the largest, uh, you know, like a foundation, to, or to be for, for our country or for the humankind. This is my shortest uh, speech. Thank you. Thank you very much. Chairman Wang, I think that is incredibly ambitious, and uh, I've been watching your company for some time. Uh, it's very interesting to me. You seem to be moving into two very different uh, sectors from the traditional real estate development, uh, sports and cultural industries uh, centered on motion pictures. Uh, let's talk about the sports first. We see that you recently acquired uh, the Infront Sports and Media of Switzerland, uh, Atletico Madrid, and most recently the Ironman triathlon races from Providence Equity, uh, Providence Equity Partners. These are really very diverse holdings. Could you talk about that uh, a little bit, about your vision there? Uh, now, in sports companies, uh, uh, if you, Wanda is the largest uh, company in terms of uh, sports, if you talk about sports industries, yeah, very rare to have uh, companies with uh, 10 billion dollars uh, for uh, sports. Our goal is not to have the largest, but we want to build a company that uh, fits the Chinese uh, you know, economic trend. We want to build China as a sports industry. That's our goal. Of course, in this course, uh, uh, our expansion, our um, uh, revenue gains uh, will go as well. I just want to give you a small example. In China, there are 1.3 billion people. Uh, uh, real uh, sports uh, Chinese industry by U.S. standards is like a, uh, 20 billion dollars. So China's sports, revenues, media, uh, not including the uh, garment and apparel uh, of sports. In the United States, uh, the, the population of uh, 3 billion people uh, uh, 300 million people, uh, and, uh, and, and, and China's sports is only uh, one-sixtieth of the U.S. Uh, industry. So we just, just started. We are still a baby, and we have a lot of room for development. At the beginning of the year, uh, the State Council had a plan. By, by 2025, they hope the Chinese sports will be 5 billion. 5 trillion US dollars. So by then, the Chinese uh, you know, value gains uh, currency will be uh, 1 trillion. So we have a lot of room to develop. Not only merging these companies, but the next step will be we have other purchase and acquisitions of uh, sports companies. Our goal is to, uh, is to operate, operationalize these companies. We can promote the development of of uh, sports industries in China. Mm. Yeah. Well, uh, it's really very ambitious. Uh, I, I was very interested to follow your acquisition of AMC theaters in the United States, and 
you mentioned earlier that you're moving into cultural industries. Now, that seems to be much harder than traditional Chinese manufacturing products, right? And I was wondering if you could, uh, and this probably applies to the sports industries as well, talk about some of the unique challenges Wanda is facing as you're going global in these, uh, you know, really quite challenging industries to understand. Chinese uh, companies going abroad facing a lot of uh, challenges. First of all, Chinese companies that are not global, or we can say they just started. Uh, top 500 uh, companies uh, every year they announce a The list of the Chinese companies uh, probably has uh, 100 companies. But uh, multinational companies are very rare, basically. It's some of the uh, monopolized uh, industries and companies in that industry. If China wants to be a power, if the country as a whole wants to be uh, powerful, it needs a lot of multinational, the first-rate companies, uh, leveraging international, international resources to support, to sustain its development. And then this country can be uh, sustainably uh, powerful. As you said, as you said, one day met, met a lot of challenges, quite difficult. Number one is we are not familiar with the local laws, you know, culture and the business models. This is a, is a bottleneck. The most difficult time actually is now is, is actually is 2012. When we merged the company, the company. Uh, at that time, actually, we developed a lot in uh, uh, you know, information technology. We negotiated over uh, two years, and we prepared for the management team. And we did a lot of preparation in technology and uh, you know, uh, uh, preparation. So, in our course of expanding going world, we, this is an absolutely necessary stage for us. Chinese companies, if they do not experience such uh, this stage, uh, the, the realization of a China dream will be very difficult. This is my personal uh, opinion. Yeah, it, it is really quite challenging, and I see that you've uh, uh, you know, really taken on some difficult cross-boundary things in many, many different fields. Uh, and, uh, you know, the track record, frankly, for many companies going abroad is uh, very mixed, if you will. Uh, maybe you can comment on that, because it's, it's a very hard problem. Uh. The, the biggest challenge we're facing is about the, uh, the original management team. Is, uh, uh, if you purchase a, 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 a quiet business, they should have, they originally have a management team. And uh, we we'll try to retain the original management team, and they will still work for you. Uh, very aggressively. It's not the capital. Uh, it's not the how are we going to uh, manage. It's, it's about the original group. How do we uh, utilize their skills? Uh, what happened if the original management team, they all left? I think that's a failure. So we have to face right now uh, all the companies uh, that we have uh, 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 very unique uh, Treatment is that we, we do not send anyone to their management team. But for every single company, we have done that. So we have to really think about how to inspire the uh, current management team. And we want to uh, build in the, the incentives and the reward system so that the management team, they will work hard. But right now, everyone likes to go to AMC theaters to watch movies. After we have set up this incentive system, uh, we have 
两年亏损，后三年盈利，结果在第一年就出现盈利。但是呢，通过这个这个这个盈利后管理成功的时候，连续三年每年会亏损。那你是在美国很严重的，很严重的地震百分之三十几，第二年又来了二三十几，这是很严重的。你是在美国很严重的，很严重的地震百分最最重要的就是说，要留用原有的产品，而不是靠，不要买到公司太便宜的。你像美国一样，美国到中国。The Chinese management team to the United States. It's just like the American company. They send their own management team to China. That's a failure. So I think the challenge for the original management team to offer their best talents for the new company. I'm going to ask another question, which may be a little controversial, right? And you can decide if you want to answer. But uh, I, I <laughs> uh, but I have a New York Times article from April 28, 2015, and uh, they suggest that the reason behind Wanda's rapid growth, and as we heard earlier, you certainly are growing very rapidly. Uh, but the New York Times suggests that the, the rapid growth lies in the company's political affiliations. And they even state that uh, President Xi Jinping and other leaders are, or relatives of President Xi Jinping and other leaders are Wanda shareholders. Do you, do you care to comment on that? Ah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, about this, uh, Professor Shi. I see that you have a very honest face. But you have an honest face. But I couldn't think that you have really asked me that question. I thought it was very tricky. But since you asked, I will answer. You have two points. First, the company is in Wanda. Wanda has no background. Let me tell you the truth. Uh, in 2008, uh, 2009, uh, around July and August, we have a Wanda business real estate. So we have a stockholding company. At that time, we had uh, two uh, e-commerce companies. Uh, uh, China Trust uh, uh, Security and uh, 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 asked them to be our agents. Uh, After we have discussed uh, the prospect with uh, seven or eight other companies, so ended up with these two companies. Uh, these two companies, uh, and, and then this one is, uh, 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 include uh, Mr. Deng, uh, who is the brother-in-law of uh, uh, President Xi. Uh, uh, he also uh, 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 holding some stockholders. Uh, uh, but uh, he he is one of the group stockholders, for instance, the Chinese Construction Bank and uh, uh, the Construction International and uh, other uh, more than 10 uh, companies is all together. They bought the stock in block. So basically it becomes in the market. Uh, only after the purchasing, after their acquisition of the stocks, that we understood that that happened. And after 2009, uh, in, for a piece, for, for a period of six years, uh, so all this uh, stock uh, keep going up, and uh, at that time, so we understood, so we almost went to, uh, uh, to be on the market, the PTO, and then before the PTO, they, uh, he Mr. Den uh, sold his share. Uh, actually, he has uh, sacrificed uh, a lot in the financial aspect because we have this uh, formal uh, uh, public uh, PDO. Uh, I think he probably has received certain pressure or uh, influence. So uh, for this case, what is proof is not that uh, we see that there is a political uh, affiliation in a positive form, but uh, I just uh, frankly, I answer you. Uh, Actually, Mr. Den is receiving the negative uh, consequences of uh, participating. The second point, the uh, uh, Wanda's uh, rapid growth, basically, uh, 
rely on our core competitor advantage. We're talking about business model. This is all creation. And it's also our, we have strong uh, implementation power. Let me give you an exhibit. So basically, every year we will uh, develop 10 uh, Wanda Plaza and uh, more than uh, 10 uh, hotels. So every time before we do the groundbreaking, we will make an announcement, say, oh, two years later, and in what month, what day, we will uh, start the business. So we see that we have more than 100 plaza, we have more than 100 uh, hotel, it's always complete on time. So, so just based on this point, our implementation, our execution power is the only uh, Enter enterprise can uh, complete. If I use this Chinese example, maybe the Americans uh, will not uh, accept. Let me give you an American uh, example. And they say the A, ABC, they have many uh, well-known cars. Uh, stockholders, so I could not purchase. But once I purchased the uh, AMC company, and then our profit already uh, made it several times over. So, this, so basically, you can tell this uh, uh, basically of uh, uh, market maneuver. So you can see that uh, one dot basically is based on their core competitor advantages. Uh, it's not, it's not like uh, the American talk about is a political affiliation. No such thing. Oh, okay, uh, let me ask you, uh, <laughs> l let me try another one. You know, uh, we've, seen, uh, we've seen recently uh, a lot of capital outflow out of China, okay? And I've heard some people kind of skeptical behind uh, Wanda's increasing overseas investments, as we've heard you've made a lot of purchases. And, uh, uh, you know, uh, so they're skeptical. Is, is it uh, you're increasing overseas investments because you want to diversify assets overseas? Or maybe you could comment on that. Right. In other words, overseas versus Chinese economy, is it just getting money out of the country? About this, uh, about this, uh, how do I put it? Uh, well, uh, three thoughts, uh, invest in overseas, the only result is basically is a transfer of the assets. So basically it's addition of asset overseas. That's all. But when you have the asset transfer or you invest the capital in the overseas, you don't have right or wrong. You only say that it's only legal or illegal. For a simple example, say that today oh, we're talking about uh, we're having a meal. Is it right or wrong to having a meal? Well, if you, 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 uh, if you use your own money, it's okay. If you use the company's money, it's maybe not right. So if you invest overseas, it's talking about transferring the asset. It is transfer uh, asset. That's right. But you have to talk about whether it is legal or illegal. So that's the first thought. As to expanding our overseas arena, this is really uh, the, the, our government's uh, calling, uh, the, the State Department, State Department in China to basically give us, they have uh, offered an opinion to uh, well, have the enterprises to uh, invest overseas. But basically, uh, you can say that officially, I am. Uh, uh, responding to the calling of the government. So that's the second point. The third point, the money from Wanda is not made by stealing or robbery. It's not that we printed the money ourselves. Look at, talking about all those uh, many uh, people use the counterfeit or they rob the bank has nothing to do with Wanda. We make the money uh, by the hard way. We earned it. We like, since we earn the money, we like to invest any place we like. 
。企业的投资自由，或者资本流动自由。Freedom, or you can say the the asset or investment floating freedom. So this is a basic measurement for the government policy. So, so if you don't have the investment freedom, so the social society will not have any freedom. So you made your money by selling to shoppers like me in the Wanda Plaza or staying in Wanda Hotel, I guess. Let me ask just. One more general question, and then I want to open it up to the floor. Okay. Uh, so, one general question is: Do you have some views on kind of the uh, general question is views on the macro environment uh, challenges facing the Chinese economy today?现在中国在看中国这些，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以，所以
哎呀，你太高抬我们了。哦、oh, ，You really uh take us too hard. 这万达如果能受到中国政府如此高度重视， uh, 利用我们来做事，那那我简直是高兴坏了。哎、uh, uh, so ，这个这个这个，这个 happy, 包括我 very, very 第一次收购 AMC 院线的时候，就有美国报纸说。I purchased AMC to what kind of purchase they made? Ah, there are many reports that they said that I used to government money to purchase. Ah, this Chinese education is small, so it doesn't make sense. Because many people think that the Chinese enterprises are very small size, so they don't understand. So that's a cause for this kind of media reporting. Ah, 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 this kind of media reporting. And maybe uh, uh, if you buy it cheaply, that's not a good company. So how do you say uh, if you purchase uh, a good company, and then you really have to use different ways to raise their value and make more money? So uh, to your question, is that uh, yeah, that, that your doubt uh, is uh, totally inaccurate. I am the founder and the largest stockholder of this company, and so I can say that. Okay, next question in front over here, and please wait for the microphone. I'm so excited about the purchase of AMC theaters on your behalf, and I'd love to know what your future plans are, and how does you know India and China kind of play into it as they kind of increasingly have more of the global share of the movie economy. Uh, well. 我不太清楚，哦，你刚才这个翻译可能我没有听得太清、uh, 太清楚。Uh, 你是问你中印公司的比较吗？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？还是问我们中？ Actually, this question, how to change it, is really hard for me to answer. I'm the chair of a group. A subsidiary of a company. It's the grandson of our conglomerate. 他们如何搞？最多也就是到文化集团那个 CEO 来决定。我所需要，我需要，我需要管理制定就是这个企业的战略，往哪方向走，或者说重大的投资，我们公司有一个批准的权限，多少多少钱才归归我管。所以你说。I'm only making decisions about decisions that the business should be huge enough. But I think my leadership, my management will manage them well. Okay, in the center over here. Hi, Mr. Wong. Um, my name is Jackie Kim. I am a student at the Harvard Law School. Um, I'm a Korean international student. Um, thank you so much for coming to our campus today and delivering your talk. Um, next February, um, February 28th, 2016, um, we're holding the Asia Business... Oh, okay, no advertising? Okay. <laughs> 
Sorry. Um, let me. Okay. Let me just ask a simple question then. Um, would you be interested in coming to the Harvard campus again? My, my question is pretty what simple. Is I just want to ask you as a success, successful person, like is building a company like Wanda always your dream since your childhood and are you always clear what you're doing? Like what's your next step? What's your goal? Okay. Uh. As a matter of fact, uh, do you think I'm a very successful person? I don't think I'm still on the journey. That's the truth. Tell you the truth. I said uh, I define success for myself. I want to build the company to be a super level of international. I want to be top 10 companies in the world. This is my dream. We want to build Wanda as a real uh, international brand. Now Wanda has some international reputation, but it's not an international brand. So my dream is to build Wanda into a company with international uh, company like uh, the Microsoft, Apple, uh, Walmart, and, and etc. So everybody knows about them. So I want to build a, a Chinese company, a top Chinese company. This is my dream. As to when I can build it, probably four or five years, the fastest, probably six or seven years. By then, I will retire. I will make a lot of money. I want to realize my next dream. That is how to build the Chinese, uh, you know, uh, the poverty um, uh, relieving uh, project. I have, uh, you know, uh, uh, I, I was responsible. I'm a responsible for a county in uh, in, in China. Uh, with uh, you know 300,000 people over the uh, I, my uh, my commitment is to double their income uh, you know in five years. Say so that's my uh, my goal. So so I have been uh, researching over the past year. And I want to build a professional school, a local vocational school. Those who get the, uh, the certificates will be easier for them to find jobs. So they will find a solution for them, for local people. I also want to, uh, to build their local specialty. Uh, the tea. Uh, want to build the tea, uh, expand the, uh, the plantation of tea, and then uh, build the plant so everybody can enjoy the tea. This, this is my next dream. I will do more in this area after I realize my first goal. Okay. Uh, question over here. Hey, uh, my name is Nick, and uh, thank you so much for coming all the way to Harvard. Uh, my question would be, I don't know if you've been following the presidential uh, election. Uh, for next year, I mean, as far as I can see, uh, you know, Hillary Clinton is fighting really hard uh, against Donald Trump. But um, she's probably going to win next year. So uh, uh, my question would be, what do you think... Uh, under her administration, what do you think uh, the policy, the trading policy in the United States is going to change regarding uh, U.S. and China relation? And what do you think the influence will be uh, either in China or in your uh, corporation? Thank you. Uh, uh, Chinese. They are not like Americans. They just mind their own business. Americans, Americans, there is a defect in the Americans. They always want to mind others' business. 
据说。It said the U.S. Congress two thirds of the agenda on the agenda will be overseas. So presidential election has nothing to do with us. I want to answer your question. How do you know Hillary Clinton will be the president of the U.S.? Do you think? How can you say for certain that Donald Trump or Hillary can win that? Uh, well, so you want to lose uh, ten thousand dollars and uh, treat everybody to dinner? So, no matter who will be the U.S. president, I think, I believe, he or she will not, uh, you know, uh, to damage the relations to China and the United States because the two countries are uh, closely linked economically. Uh, for instance, a company like the Wanda, if we increase our investment, I am I'm, I'm, uh, supporting, uh, I'm hiring 20,000 uh, U.S. Americans. Do you, do you think the, the, uh, the U.S. Uh, government will not be friendly with me? Because as long as it's good for the Chinese or the Americans, we will continue to do this. Uh, let's see. Uh, in the middle there. I will be in Chinese, so if interpreter free help, please help me out. Uh, Wang Zong, uh, Hi, Mr. Wang, I'm, 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 I'm the first year student that uh, uh, I want to ask uh, Wang does uh, the overseas uh, competition. Where is the competitive overseas? If you are not familiar with the overseas market, how can you solve the problem? Uh, the competitiveness of Wang Da. Uh, the competitors of Wanda, I just uh, say directly, our core competitors uh, uh, overseas, number one is we have money. Why? As the economy develops, particularly the uh, cash flow, it's not only about assets, but the cash flow, we, we are increasing. That's why we're capable of uh, doing emergency negotiations. So this is uh, the first uh, core competitive. Well, if you don't have funding, how can you buy it? Then you say go back. The second one is, uh, I'm the largest uh, owner of the company. I look long term. I'm not like other foundations, buy and sell. I want to manage and, and increase the revenue and increase the value. So I'm going to have a long-term policies. As the example I said, uh, AMC I bought it. So if we uh, make money, we will uh, you know, divide our you know, profits at 90 to 10 percent. The short term, the um, uh, short side of the companies, they can't have such uh, practices or policies. So we are the owner. Uh, thirdly, uh, our experience over the past two decades really helps us. We know how to use information technology, to use a remote uh, you know, uh, control. Every day we consolidate our revenues, not only at the end of the year. We do that on a daily basis. Okay. Well, let me ask Um, you have very ambitious plans, and I'm sure you'll be active for many more years, but when you retire, how would you want to be remembered? If there was just one thing that people would remember you for, what would you want it to be? When I retire, the, the biggest thing that's if you don't hate me, that's where I don't want to remember me. In Chinese culture, Chinese culture is different from Americans, bro. Uh, so how can you, probably you want to people to remember you, to love you, but ours is different. As I said, Chinese economy is under transformation. And people are not so down to earth. And everyone wants to make money. But they... They hate, you know, rich people. So I hope when I retire or when I age, people remember, oh, this is a big uh, philanthrop philanthropical uh, person. He's not, uh, he has done a lot of good things for the people. So I will feel very, very uh, relieved. Right, right over here.
Hi. I just wanted to ask, as you expand the uh, Wanda Hotel portfolio, both domestically in China and abroad, how do you see the customer base changing? Do you think it's going to become a more international clientele, and is that who you're kind of seeking to add? Or do you think it's going to be a Chinese clientele that's actually traveling more abroad and frequenting your hotels around the world? Well, Chinese companies, of course, the clients are Chinese, but overseas uh, restaurants will be uh, uh, the foreigners. I don't want to build hotels for Chinese. I want to, and uh, this is a, otherwise would be a big uh, blunder for me. I want to do a luxurious hotel. Uh, uh, I want to have uh, build a, a brand with the Chinese uh, uh, national. So we are doing one, uh, 12 billion US dollars, uh, you know, uh, the share, uh, you know. So I want to do it myself. Probably I don't need uh, 12 billion dollars. Uh, uh, Two billion probably enough for me to build a Chinese uh, luxury hotel. Uh, take a deep one. As a Chinese, I just say Mandarin. Uh, Wang Zhong, hello. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Wang. Just now you talked about China is undergoing transformation. Uh, uh, can, you, uh, uh, can you tell us the students who will be graduating in the in near future and, 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 and what kind of opportunities that we will have as students? What kind of opportunities we're going to have when we go back to China? Thank you. China. Okay. <coughs> Uh, 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 you 超过多少倍就做的美国这个规模不光是我创新的能够结合目的地Thank you, Chairman. Could you please comment on the implications of the one-child revocation of the one-child policy on the real estate market? Uh, how sure. It's just a good thing. Good. If I have a four things to say, first is good. Now it's too late. Back. Yeah. 
。所以刚刚那边有一个先生有问到，就是、呃、那个酒店餐厅是怎么，是比较偏向吸吸引就是呃，国就是外国人还是中国人？我想我的问题就是，确实就是确实在美国或者其他国家有一个这种成见。They have a, a prejudice, a bias. The Chinese uh, products and uh, brands are uh, shoddy products. 不，比较怎么说呢？就是 shameful。但是，所以我的问题就是，你来，你的把你的公司发展到国外，你是怎么样去面对这个这样的一个问题？然后，我想问一下，你的公司发展到国外，你是怎么样去面对这个这样的一个问题？然后，我想问一下，你的公司发展到国外，你是怎么样去面对这个这样的一个问题？然后，我想问一下，你的公司发展到国外，你是怎么样去面对这个这样的一个问题？然后，我想问一下，你的公司发展到国外，你是怎么样去面对这个这样的一个问题？然后，我想问一下，你的公司发展到国外，你是怎么样去面对这个这样的一个问题？然后，我想问一下，你的 Brands and their services. You 刚才问的是酒店，后来又问了一个更大的问题。那呃，酒店我跟你讲。In terms of、uh, hotels, high-end, you know, the hotels are mostly uh, Americans or international. Most of them are、uh, Western companies. If, if you have money and you pay them, they come here, they work for you. The second question is how to change the perspective. We single-handedly, we cannot do that. We need to allow the Chinese entrepreneurs to work together to change it. This is a, just a stage related. Do you think the United States products were very、uh, excellent at that time? Today, I heard a story in the 1970s and 1980s. American cars, American cars、uh, couldn't sell at the time when the Japanese came around. Came in, they all went to the Japanese cars. So the American companies, why do you like? You are not patriotic. At that time, the American cars were huge and、uh, very consuming a lot of gas. So then, because of this, uh, uh, this uh, uh, situation, the Americans changed their products. So even Americans face such a you know difficulties, and, and this is、uh, the necessary stage that Ch Chinese companies will go through. I'm found confident that Chinese.、Uh, People will solve the problems themselves. Okay.、Uh, in, in front here. Uh, I will speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so please interpret for me. Well, speak in Chinese, so